This video is sponsored by Harry's. In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should resto mod your vintage bike. Now, some of you may be thinking, what does resto mod mean? <laughs> and when I say resto mod, I'm talking about taking something that needs to be restored and modifying it. So you restore it, but in the process of restoring it, you don't restore it to its original form. You modify it. And in this case, typically we're talking about modernizing it. And so mod can actually mean modify and modernize at the same time, maybe, if you want to take it that way. So that's what we're talking about. I'm going to give you five reasons why you should modify and modernize your vintage bike. Before we get into the five reasons, I also wanted to share with you, I'm in a new shop. In fact, it was in the shop I restored my daughter's bike and I had uh, my tools in the toolbox still. I haven't, as you can see, mounted anything on the walls. I moved. This last month, actually, I've had scout camp. I've had a move to this new house, new location and also some really difficult family things that we won't get into. But we are here in this new shop and in my next few videos, I will be looking at not just restoring bikes, but also getting my shop set up to be awesome. But enough of that, let's go back to the five reasons why you should resto mod your bike. So reason number one, that you may want to resto mod your bike is those vintage components may be slowing you down. A lot of newer components or a lot of reasons why you might want to modify your bike is to get better components, to improve your performance. <laughs> Just like maybe shaving your legs. Maybe it's perceived, maybe it's not. Maybe I'll get a little bit faster Strava times, which kind of brings us to our sponsor today, Harry's. So I've been using Harry's for a while and I really, really like the, the handle design. I really like the affordability of the Harry's razors. I like that they can have them shipped to me. I like the two-tone. I love how these razors work. Now, for those of you that are interested, I'll put a link in my description, harrys.com slash old shovel, and you can redeem your starter kit. And for the first 1000 that redeem their starter kit, Harry's will throw in an additional body wash. And I've been using their body wash for a while. They, I have the, the stone, the shiso, and the fig. I quite like the stone. I love the smell. So for the first 1000, who redeem their starter set have a chance to, to also get a body wash included. So be sure to go to harrys.com slash old shovel to get your starter kit. And back to making myself faster by shaving my legs because just like resto modding your bike and swapping out those old components for something better, new, better shifting, higher quality, I'm hoping this leg shaving will give me a better Strava time when I'm on my road bike, <laughs> which for those that know, I don't go as much. I'd rather take the road bike into the mountains. While we're talking about better components, sometimes even if those old components were good, they may not be as good as they used to be. Take for instance, these old LX nine speed shifters. Now I've had a number of bikes that have had these shifters on them and they tend to get gummed up pretty easily. And it takes a bit to get those springs working again. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that, okay, there we go. So, there's a little bit of hesitancy sometimes in shifting some of these gears. These ones are actually working pretty darn good. But these old components, not only can they get gummed up and I can clean them out and get them working again, they have little plastic parts and springs inside them 
that eventually over time, these, which were once great components, they wear out. So if the vintage components on your bike are worn out and it's time to replace them, it's a great opportunity to modify what you have on your bike. Install either some newer style components or some brand new components, maybe upgrading to a 10 by drivetrain, maybe a one by 10, ditch one of these shifters altogether. And that actually brings me to number three. Those new components may actually be more readily available than say those old components. New components, companies are no longer making old components. For, in most cases, there might be some out there that are still making replacements for vintage components, but in most cases, they're not making them anymore. And there's a limited supply of good, usable working parts, and new parts are much more readily available because old ones wear out. Now, why all this fuss about updating your old vintage bike with new parts? Why not just buy a new bike with new parts on it? And that brings me to number four. Your old frame is worth it. Maybe. Well, at least there's lots of frames out there that are worth it. If your frame on your bike is in really good order, you love how it rides, you love how it feels, it's supple, it's smooth, you've had it forever, it's nostalgic for you, it's definitely worth resto modding it. Take for instance this Alpine Star D560. This frame has a True Temper OX frame set. It's a really light, good old school steel mountain bike that's just begging to be resto modded. The components on this bike have already been modified. It's got newer grip shifts with full-size lock-on levers. Um, it's got long pull V-brake brakes with cantilevers still. And so someone's already been modifying it to fit their needs just to keep it going. But this bike could be awesome with some new components on it and it could have a new life being resto modded into something someone's gonna use and ride and love. So we're gonna do that in a future video. But your frame may be worth restoring, keeping, and putting new parts on and making it into something awesome, which brings us to number five, making it yours. One of the primary reasons I actually resto mod a lot of my bikes is because it becomes mine. There's all these logical reasons. Your parts are worn out, components need replacing, it's a good, got good bones, it's a good frame, all of those reasons. But when you're done resto modding your bike, it's yours. A great example that actually defies some of the other things that I've already said is my Le Monde Street Fighter. It's actually a Le Monde Nevada City. It's a kind of a road touring bike frame steel, all steel, Reynolds 853, so it's got those great bones. But what I did, I actually put a mismatch of old and new components on it. I've got some old Shimano 105 brakes on it with some old, like, old early 90s die comp mountain bike brake levers, some SRAM X9 10-speed shifter and derailleur. I've got some old Ritchie pedals and some newer Tiagra wheels. All together, this bike is actually one of my favorite bikes to ride. I think the chain and cables and the grips are about the only new things on here. This is one of my primary bikes. I ride this actually to work when I commute to work. It rides awesome, and when I want a street bike ride, since I'm, I'm a mountain biker, I like a flat bar. I love this flat bar, kind of a street racer bike. It's so awesome and it's mine. So pull that vintage bike out of your garage and restore it into something new. Give it some new life by putting some new components on it, perhaps even 
welding disc brake tabs on it if you want to go that far. I've done that. It's cool. There's other things you can do also, but there's great ways to modify that vintage bike to suit your needs, make it yours, update the components, get it working, get it usable, and you won't regret it. And perhaps as a bonus reason number six, it'll be fun, like really fun. There's, there's a journey that for me is very enjoyable in resto modding a bike, converting it from what it was into something awesome, unique and cool and is very usable again. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with me what you've done with your vintage bikes and maybe reasons why you think you should restore and resto mod, modify or modernize that vintage bike. As we wrap this up, I'd also like to thank Harry's for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out harrys.com slash old shovel to get your $3 starter kit. And I will see you on the next video. Ciao. Oh, I love this thing. Awesome bike. You guys should see all the bikes I have hanging up here. I think I've got 24 hanging in the rafters. But I'm going to have to take them down and finish the ceiling before I finish this shop up. It's exciting. Can't wait to set up my new workbench and uh, all my tools. I've got some fancy new bits from Park Tools to help with some of the organization. Something to look forward to in coming videos. Like and subscribe. Ha <laughs>